must have been so challenging having to work with Henry it's every awful. day. It's just so awful. It's just too bad about his face, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's such a nice guy, and then, you know. I kind of feel bad, because in all of the press, it's like obvious, so people are constantly asking the question, and then I'm like, Henry's gonna take out a restraining order on me if I <laughs> keep talking about how cute he is and like giggling in his presence, but I tell- If you'd like to enter our current $100 giveaway of a gift card of your choice, all you have to do is one, like this video, and two, subscribe with notifications on. Most importantly, watch this entire video from start to finish without stopping or exiting the video. And that's it. Let us know down in the comments who entered. Don't try to be sneaky and say you entered if you didn't complete all of the steps, because we know, and we are watching you. Okay, so if you've been active on our channel recently, then you'd know that we started a series called Celebrities Being Thirsted Over, and this video is in continuation of that series. So far, we've made videos on the likes of Leonardo DiCaprio, Brad Pitt, Keanu Reeves, Tom Hardy, Chris Hemsworth, and Michael B. Jordan. So if you haven't watched them yet and enjoyed this video, be sure to check them out after watching. A quick shout out to all the people that suggested this video, which is on Henry Cavill. Also, please leave more suggestions of people you'd like to see added to the series. Just to let you know, you're definitely going to see one particular reoccurring face in today's video. Number 1. Amy Adams During this red carpet interview while promoting Superman, actress and co-star Amy Adams completely agrees with the interview who calls Henry Cavill the hottest man in the world. She also gets asked whether or not any of Amy's girlfriends have asked to be set up on a date with Henry. I'm definitely a little spunky like that, like I'll throw down with the guys, but I still like being a girl, so I kind of feel like Lois has that. Now you are starting again uh, alongside the hottest man on earth at the moment. Yeah, no, I'm going to agree with you on that, yeah. Have any of, any of your friends said, oh, can you set me up with him yet? No, they haven't. They haven't. Number two, Demi Lovato. A couple of years ago, the internet, mainly her Henry's fan base, speculated that Demi Lovato tried to, quote, thirst trap Henry on Instagram. The reason people say this is because Demi followed him on Instagram and liked his pictures to get his attention. And then a couple hours later, she posted a very spicy and revealing photo in hopes that he would see it. Well, at least that's what people are saying. Demi was caught by some stealthy Instagram users following Superman himself, Henry Cavill. But not before she liked two of his jujitsu photos and posted this very sexy shot of herself. Now, this is what zeroing in on a target looks like, my friends. And guess what? It worked. Henry then followed Demi back and commented on one of her own jujitsu pictures. This is awesome. Number three, Gal Gadot. During this interview with Henry Cavill and Gal Gadot, it's not so much what is said, but it's the way Gal is looking at him with sneaky side looks. Well, I guess we'll never know whether she was thirsting over him or just looking. Uh, yeah, it's been wonderful. It's been great. Yeah, and for me, I mean, I'm dead. So all I did was come and visit the guys with scones and stuff and just really good make them as comfortable because they shot here in England. So I just wanted to, <laughs> I'm here for moral support. <laughs> and I don't mind just saying just for the R fact that she's, she's amazing. Uh, she raised five boys. Wow. Um, she's, and we're all fairly sane as far as, as, as sane as boys can be. And Number four, Amy Adams for the second time. During this appearance on The Ellen Show, they are doing a segment where Amy Adams has to try and guess her male co-stars, but just from a picture of their body. As soon as the picture came up, Amy guessed Henry Cavill, without even thinking about it. Soon after, Ellen made a joke about Amy having a crush on him. So we're going to show you just a, a body part, and you're going to tell us who it is. Okay, okay. All right, let's, let's see, see the first do. one. <laughs> Henry? <laughs> well, you do have a crush on Henry. Yeah? No, 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 no. That's all you see. <laughs> Number five, red carpet celebrities and audience. During this short clip, Henry Cavill is doing a red carpet photo shoot. When he adjusts his hair in a very Superman-like way, the girls in the crowd go absolutely crazy. Number six, Amy Adams for the third time. During this interview, after being asked by a young girl whether kissing Henry Cavill during the production of Superman was beautiful or disgusting, Amy quickly responds saying that she doesn't think kissing someone like Henry could ever be described as disgusting. Um, I, can, I don't think that kissing Henry can ever be described as disgusting. I don't wanna cross over a professional line, but certainly not disgusting. Um, 
it, when you do kissing scenes, it really is one of those strange things because it's just so not intimate. Mm. And but you have to convey a level of intimacy, and there's number seven, Henry Cavill talking about being catcalled. Now, this isn't so much Henry being thirsted over by female celebrities, but it does fall under the category of what they do and how they do it. During this interview with ABC News, Henry explains the awkward experience he often faces when being catcalled by other women on the street, when his girlfriend or partner is with him. When you're with somebody else. It's, no, it, I, I think the thing with that is when, um, if someone is disrespectful to the person who I'm with mm -hmm. by talking to me in a certain way like that person's not there or they don't exist. I see. That's a That's, that's rudeness. A Number eight, Amy Adams kinda. Now, this is obviously more of a funny, lighthearted one. During this interview with ET Online, actress Amy Adams recalls the moment that her, at one time, one and a half year old daughter touched Henry Cavill's butt while on set because she had a huge crush on him. And back then, her daughter had, well, a cheeky obsession with a superhero. She loved just like staring at Superman. She met him when she was a year and a half. She hates that I tell this story. <laughs> Is she touched his booty when he wasn't looking. She just reached out and he was like, hmm, your daughter? And I'm like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine, Amy Adams for the last time. During this interview with both Amy Adams and Henry Cavill while promoting Superman Man of Steel, Amy and the interviewer sarcastically joke about how annoying it is to have to work with Henry and how, quote, ugly he is. She also adds that she wouldn't be surprised if Henry got a restraining order on her just because of how much she flirts and thirsts over him on a daily basis. It must have been so challenging having to work with Henry it's every awful. day. It's just so awful. It's just too bad about his face, right? Yeah. He's such a nice guy and then, you know. I kind of feel bad because in all of the press, it's like obvious, so people are constantly asking the question, and then I'm like, Henry's gonna take out a restraining order on me if I <laughs> keep talking about how cute he is and like giggling in his presence, but I tell- Number 10, Henry Cavill and Freya Allen. Now, this is definitely more of a lighthearted one as well, mainly because Freya Allen is underage, or at least was at the time. Over the past six months, several videos of Henry and Freya looking at each other have gone viral online. Most people think that Freya has a huge crush on Henry, and that's why she looks at him that way. And uh, when we hadn't found our Siri yet, yeah. say, we know we cast you. It's not that we don't want you for that role, but we may want you for something slightly, slightly bigger. Uh -huh. um, and I flew into London and we met and uh, our series. So we also were talking about how to make sure that we bring her in early enough and have Siri have a, our series. So we also were talking about how to make sure that we bring her. Now, if you didn't know, Henry Cavill has quite the personality and doesn't take himself too seriously, especially during the talk show interviews. On YouTube, there are multiple compilation videos dedicated to his best moments during talk shows. So for the remainder of this video, we will be shifting the focus from Henry being thirsted over to just some of his funniest and best moments from his talk shows and interviews. During this appearance on The Graham Norton Show while promoting Netflix The Witcher, Henry Cavill explains that during preparation for this role and production, he had to dehydrate himself so his skin would be thinner and sit on the muscles, making his body look better. It, what's that you have to, to dehydrate yourself? Oh yeah, yeah, that is by, that's the worst part of it. Like diet is difficult um, and you're hungry, but when you're dehydrating for three days, you get to the point on the last day where you can smell water, like nearby. During these short clips from several interviews, Henry explains that due to his love and dedication to video games, he almost missed the possibility of one of the most important phone calls of his life, which was that he got the role of Superman. I was playing World of Warcraft at the time and <laughs> I was actually, uh, I was playing an online computer game on my PC when I got the call, and uh, I actually missed that first call that Zach gave me, um, unbelievably. Almost had a heart attack when it happened. <laughs> oh. World of Warcraft, and the phone rings, and you're like, I'll get that later? I'll get, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'll During this appearance on Jimmy Fallon, Henry gives a pretty naughty and inappropriate answer after being asked about his cardio workout routine. For, for cardio's sake, what do you do for cardio? No cardio. Uh, no, I run. <laughs> That's a savory answer. Yeah. So what is the real answer? You... I think they get it. Oh. 
During this Australian interview, Henry and the interviewer joke about what celebrity simply couldn't play the role of Superman. Henry also jokes about constantly thanking his parents for passing on such good genes, allowing him to fit the role perfectly. You could be the greatest actor in the world, but you're still gonna look like Superman. Like some people, like Danny DeVito will never play <laughs> Superman. Like you must thank your parents every single day of your life now, yeah? <laughs> Congratulations to PuckerJosh34 for winning our $100 gift card giveaway. Please email us using the email in the description to receive the code. Only with the same Gmail account, though. Anyone that tries to impersonate them will be blocked and prevented from winning any future giveaways.